Yes, Wyatt, five bucks, says, ladies, you find out your daughter has 3x her, your body count and she's 18. How would you react to this? Oh, that's a pretty good one there. So, your daughter has 3x your body count. How would you react to this? Would you care? Would you tell her, hey, you're, you're fucking up? What would you do? Yeah, first off, I would tell her she's fucking up. <sighs> that's so fucked. Like, three times. Uh, even if the number was, like, one. Okay, three times my body count at 18, not cool. Like, you need to be, sorry, you need to be saving yourself for someone who's actually going to provide you something good in your life and not just giving yourself away to, like, high school men. Like, okay. Uh, what about you? Yeah, I definitely believe that it's, like, an energy exchange. So, like, don't fuck it up. Like, you have okay. so much, like, good energy and you don't share it with other people. Soul ties, huh? Yeah. Mm, interesting. Yeah. What about you? Um, I would probably just like tell her that there's like no rush. Most people regret like most of the people they sleep with at a young age. So True. it's no rush, you know. Is that you? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, I'm not doing it. Kind of. What about you? I actually do have a she's almost 18, so hopefully she doesn't have a three body counts. But um, I would tell her, like, you know, just hopefully wait until the right person comes along. Like I didn't wait at 18, I probably had three body counts. But um, so hopefully she wouldn't follow no, my footsteps. Three, no, three, three times, three times, times body your body count. Oh, no, you said three times three body times, count? Yeah. Oh, oh, absolutely not. <laughs> <laughs> I just said three body counts. Um, no, no, that, that that conversation, the way I raise her, is something deeper than that. How do you keep her in, not in check, but how do you tell her without telling her specifically? What do you do to take measures against that? Well, we actually talk. I talk to my daughter. Like, I've been talking to my daughter since she was like 14 mm. um, because of my upbringing and my family and my friends and my environment. Being in Detroit and my friends are like, we were wow, like, wow. So I use my life experiences to teach her, like, what not to do. Let's say she met a guy that was maybe a bad boy in the streets. Would you tell her to, like, don't date him? What would you do? No, I don't really believe that. Like, I, I, I tell her to kind of, like... When you guys say bad boys, what do you mean a bad boy? Like, you know, he's not good for her. He's going to dog her out. I want you to do well. Yeah, but that's going to go over her head. I just tell her. I mean, she hears me, but she doesn't. Like, right. it, unfortunately, I'm not the one who really communicates. She has a better relationship with my sister. So it's good that she has somebody she can talk to. Because as a kid, you don't give a shit about what your parents think. Like, I tell her, like, Kendall, I hope you don't, you know, indulge in like a bad boy. But the guy she has now, he's cool. And I like him. So okay. hopefully I haven't had to cross that bridge yet. How I would deal with it. I don't know. Cool. What about you? First of all, I am dragging that girl's hair across the floor. <laughs> She's getting beat. No, um, no, that would happen. First of all, it's not going to happen because I'm going to communicate things before that. So she's mm -hmm. aware. So mm -hmm. she's aware of, you know, life and how things work. So that ain't happening. Okay. And if it does, she's getting dragged. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Respectfully. <laughs> what about you? Um, yeah, I'd be pretty pissed. I mean, I don't even want to think about that. That's like some crazy shit. So. Yeah, I'd just be pissed. Why is it crazy? Is your body kind of high? No, but even if it was like one, <laughs> I feel like that's kind of like... What's heavy. your body count? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Silent so mode, I guess. <laughs> All right. What the hell? <laughs> what about you? A daughter? Three things your body count. What would you do? I don't think that would even happen to begin with because I would instill those values in her subconscious at such a young age, I would teach her to mm. respect her body, that her vessel is not for foreign energy to enter all the time if you don't have a sacred connection with the other person. But if it did happen, I would have a con conversation with her and I would tell her to value herself more, to respect herself more, and to save her womb space for someone that is actually really special to her. Mm. That's deep. Just like some nigga in her. Never mind. <laughs> Go ahead. What about you? Yeah, uh, definitely not. But to be honest with you, I would just let her dad handle it. Because I feel like when it comes to stuff like that, men are better at handling, you know, those type of situations. So I would do that. Okay. Pretty smart. And if you miss Serbia. I mean, I'd be upset, but I would just talk to her and tell her, like, to save herself for someone special, not get it too high. Like, wait until you're in a relationship and you really like the guy. I don't know, just something where she's not like just going out and having sex with whoever she wants. Like chill, girl, just chill, yeah. relax. Yeah. yeah, cool. All right, all right. I got a question. Uh, so, or did you want to go no. go back to the chats? All right. So, hey guys, um, from this point forward, 